And that is the million dollar question. Why did Hartford Public Schools not have any supply of this life-saving opioid overdose drug Narcan? I called the Connecticut State Department of Education tonight and they shared with me the results of a 2019 survey that they conducted of 352 nurses. And of those 352 nurses, only 48% of them said that they had access to Narcan. This comes on the heels of that 13 year old who ingested the fentanyl still being listed in grave condition. A 13 year old remains in grave condition Friday as two other exposed students were released from the hospital after 40 bags of pure fentanyl were found in two classrooms and the gym of Hartford Sport and Medical Science Academy. This is a really sad moment. It is a sad moment. We are talking about a 13 year old. An emotional moment from the top administrator of Hartford's public schools, herself a mom of a 14 year old. While it is it is at a school, we all we're all impacted by this. There are families impacted. There are communities that are impacted. Nobody knows that better than Christine Gagnon, whose son Mike died of a fentanyl overdose in 2017. Went out with a friend, um, obtained a substance. And unfortunately, I found him one morning deceased. He was 22 years old and he had a whole life ahead of him. Christine told Fox 61 she was appalled to learn that the schools of our capital city don't carry Narcan. That blew my mind. There was there, there's no excuse. Um, Narcan should be in every single school. As I understand it, uh, we we have not looked at it deeply. On this day, the school itself was still undergoing a deep cleaning by multiple state and federal agencies. There is a uh, unique process that not only entails cleaning, but also conducting what is called dust wipe sampling. Fentanyl, an opioid 100 times more potent than morphine, is usually prescribed as a patch to manage pain. What we found is that people are using laboratories to distill the medication down, create a powder, and then mix fentanyl with other drugs like heroin or cocaine. Okay, and we also learned today that in addition to the school being searched for drugs, law enforcement agencies also uh, executed a search warrant on the home of that 13-year-old student, but they wouldn't say what, if anything, was discovered inside. It also still remains unclear at this hour if this school will be able to reopen for Tuesday. All of those samples that they collected need to be sent to a lab in New Jersey. That lab is closed for the weekend, and of course, schools observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. We're live here in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.